praise to the Most High in Christ. Um, just ran across this article. It said the first case of the Chinese coronavirus has hit the U.S. CDC report. It said federal health officials announced on Tuesday the first U.S. case of the Chinese coronavirus outbreak that looks likely to spread uh, worldwide. We have now confirmed the first case of novel coronavirus in the United States, said the CDC Nancy Messonia, director of the National Center of Immunization and Respiratory Disease. The patient, a man in his 30s from Sun Marsh Country, Washington State, had his infected confirmed by a newly developed CDC genus test. He sought medical care on his own and is in good condition at the hospital of Everett, Washington. Missouri confirmed that the coronavirus, which apparently sprang from animal to human infections and was trans to a trans to a seafood market in Wuhan, Chinese can also be transmitted from one person to another. Since late December, the virus has sick sickened more than 300 people in China and killed six. Cases have also been reported in Japan, Thailand, and South Korea. The virus caused pneumonia-like symptoms and appears to be most dangerous to elderly people or those with compromised immune, immune, immune system. So, um, I guess I keep it wrong, keep on reading. I said the Washington Post patient entered the U.S. January 15th before the screening began, and he did not have symptoms on arrival. He alerted his doctor to the illness on January 19th. The CDC said it's not; it doesn't take much for the virus in general to go from being worsened to being extreme worsened because they tend to morph and mutate a lot said Minnesota Min Messinor last Friday during the update of report where she had predicted a US case. We are especially worried and we're taking various cautious um proactive ap approach. So um yeah man it won't, it won't be long for these players to start hitting the Babylon man and, and that's what happens. And this is also you know these plays, man, from the from this uh from the elites, man. The the wicked, you know. But but um that's what the scripture has said, you know. It's in Matthew twenty four and three, he says he sat up on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, Tell us what shall these things be, and what's the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Yasha when the word called Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall have hear of wars and rumors of wars, so you be not troubled, for all of these things must must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For a nation shall rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famine and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these things are the beginning of sorrows. I'm gonna start right there. I'm gonna jump to uh, let's see, jump to Deuteronomy uh, 22 29. My bad, 22. Start at 22. Let's see. Deuteronomy 29, 22, it says, So that the generations that come before you, children, rise up after you, and the stranger that shall come from a far land shall say, When they see the plagues of the land and the sickness and which the Lord hath laid upon it, and the whole land thereof is brimstone and salt and burning, and that is not sown nor buried nor any grass groweth therein, like overthrow of Sodom and Gomorrah, and the and Adam and Zimbo, me, which the Lord overthrew in his anger <clears throat> and in his wrath. 
and even all the nations shall say, What for hath the Lord done unto this land? What meaneth the heat of this anger? And the men shall say, Because they have forsaken the covenant of the Most High God of their fathers, which he had got, which he, which he made with them when he brought them out of the land of Egypt. For they went and served other gods and worshipped them, gods they knew not, whom they had given unto them. And his anger, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against this land, and bring upon it all the curses that are written in this book. And the Lord ruled them out of that land in his anger and in his wrath and great indignation and cast them into another land as it is this day. The secret things belong to the Lord, the Lord our God, but those things which are revealed belong to us and our children forever, that we may do all the words of the law. Let me see. Uh, Deuteronomy 7. Deuteronomy 7 and 14, Thou shalt be blessed above all people, and there shall not be male or female bearing among you or among your cattle. And the Lord will take away these all the sicknesses and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt, which thou knowest upon thee, but will lay them, will lay them upon all them that hate thee. So, yeah, so we're in, we're, in, we're in the body of Christ, man. We don't have to worry about these plagues, plagues and sicknesses, you know, keep praying and seeking him and bearing our cross, you know. Christ is the only way, you know, only way. This is um, Jeremiah 50 and 13. It said, because the wrath of the Lord, it shall be in, not be inhabited. But it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. So, uh, go to uh, Revelation 18. I'll start at 4. You know, you know, it's say Babylon is fallen. He said, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out, come out of my people, that ye shall not be partakers of her sins, and ye, sh ye sh and that ye receive not of her plagues, for her sins have reached unto heaven, for God hath remembered her iniquities, reward, reward her, even as she have rewarded you, and double unto her, uh, double according to her works, and the cup which you have filled, filled to her double, how much has she glorified herself and lived deliciously? So much torment and sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I see the queen, I am no widow, and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her place come in one day, death, mourning, and famine, and she shall, she, she shall be early burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. So, uh, these are the plagues that come into Babylon, man. You know, let me see, uh, so we're in the body of Messiah, man. Keep praying, you know, watching these prophecies, watching and praying, like Christ said, and you know, watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit is truly willing, but the flesh is weak, man. Uh, we have a strong tower. We have a protector, you know. This is the last scripture I'm going to give. Uh, he that dwelleth in the secret places of the, of the Most High shall abide under the shadows of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge. He is my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. He shall surely deliver thee from the snares of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and, with, and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be, be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night nor nor for the arrows that fleeth by day. So you won't be a he will cover us and we won't be afraid by those missiles when they begin to begin to be shot, man. Nor of the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, nor the destruction that wastes by noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thy eyes shall I behold it and see the reward of the wicked. The same thing we read in Deuteronomy. 
because thou, shalt, thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy hab habitation. Therefore no evil shall befall thee, neither shall any plague come now thy Come now thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in thy hand, and lest thou dash thy foot against the stones. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon. Thou shalt trample under thy feet, because he had made, to, because he had set his love upon me. Therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he had known my name. He, he shall call upon me, and I will answer him. And I will be, I will be with, I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him, and honor him. For long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. So he said, you know, because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. You know, because we know his name, and his name is the Great I Am, the Ahaya, the Great I Am. Um, first John. We had to set our love upon the Most High. <clears throat> this is First John five and two. He said, "By this we know that we love, God, love the children of God, and when we love God and keep His commandments, we love the Most High, and keep His commandments. For this is the love of God." that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous, you know. And I just read the next verse. It said, uh, for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Who is, who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believes that Jesus or Yosha is the son of God. So we got to love him, keep the commandments, you know. I believe and have faith in Christ, man. And follow Him, walk that narrow path, and bear our cross, you know. And don't be afraid of these plagues, man. Especially on the mainstream media, that where they try to use fear tactics to fear among you into these FEMA camps, you know. And uh, yeah, just uh, just have faith and pray. And most I had those holy angels around about you, man. You know, whoever whoever you are, you know, just. Just pray and seek him, you know. Don't walk in the ways of this world. Don't walk in the ways of Babylon, you know. These, you, I know it won't take long for, for the reach America. They'll say, that, they'll say um, yeah, man, this man came in. They flew in from such and such, had the virus, and just like they did with Ebola, you know. So these are these are cases, man, of moving a population to where they want to uh, reside at, you know. Shifting the pop population, spreading the fear tactic, but the most high didn't give us the spirit of fear. So, uh, just stay prayed up, and that's all I have. May the most high bless y'all.